After spending the day with the Chevy SS, here are some of the things we've come to love about it. First off, it's got a previous gen Corvette engine in it, a 6.2 liter LS3 V8 that produces 415 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. It's a big American V8, produces a nice amount of torque, and it definitely sounds savage from the outside. On the inside though, it's a little bit. Muffled. Yeah. thing about this car is it comes standard with GM's excellent magnetic ride suspension. You've got three driving modes, tour, sport, and performance that heighten throttle response, change the suspension setup, and they're pretty good. And it makes this car capable as a daily driver and something fun to drive yep. on back roads. You put it in performance mode and the steering and suspension feel like a true enthusiast sports car. It's heavier and stiffer than almost anything out there. And I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. The amount of standard equipment you get in this car is staggering. There are only two options available. Everything else you get with the base price. Heads up display, heated and ventilated seats, eight inch touchscreen, backup cameras, sensors. It'll even park itself, both parallel and perpendicular. Everything's quality too. The yes. One thing I hesitated and worried about is it might look nice, but does it feel like good quality? The yeah. door slam, the trunk slam, everything has a nice thud. Yeah. All the materials are nice to touch. It doesn't really show nope. that it costs sub $50,000 anywhere. Mm -hmm. Apart from maybe the exterior appearance. Kind of boring on the outside. Most cars have to sacrifice practicality in order to gain performance. This car does not. It's a big sedan. The rear seat is surprisingly spacious. I sat back there, plenty of headroom, plenty of legroom. The seats are actually really comfortable. Have a huge trunk in the back and a really large fuel tank too, 18.8 gallons. This is a usable car on a daily basis. My favorite thing about this car, however, that it was built for enthusiasts. Yes. It's got a manual transmission option. It's got that pure, sedan layout. It's got a front mounted V8, rear wheel drive, mm -hmm. possibility of a manual, and it's spacious. It weighs a little bit much, 4,000 pounds, but by today's standards, that's not actually no. that much. I mean, emissions restrictions are getting tighter. People want a more luxurious car and they're caring less and less about having something that's fun to drive. Mm -hmm. It's more just a safe environment for their family and to commute to work. This is a rare unicorn and I'm happy they made it. It seems like they might be killing it off pretty soon. Possibly. It's not selling that well, but I'm sure with the manual transmission, it's even better and it's definitely worth a look at if you're in the market for a sedan, a new sedan in this price range. The greatest thing is that GM did not set out to make this car to make profits. They're not hoping to sell tons and tons of them. They made it purely for driving enthusiasts that want something enjoyable to drive that can be practical. It's That's the greatest thing about it. And I think that's an important move for brands in general yes. is to show that they still care. You can yep. really boost brand reputation by producing stuff that the, the drivers, the people who watch our videos, that read yep. all the magazines, these are the types of cars that they really want. Indeed. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. That'd be fantastic. Special thanks to LaFontaine Chevy of Dexter, Michigan for making this video possible. This car is available there now. I bet you'll be impressed if you test drive it. Until next time.